what's up everyone, Saints fan back again with another GTA 5 video and today we're doing the top 10 best looking sports cars because you guys seem to enjoy the top 10 best looking supercars so I figured the next logical class is the sports class. Now for the next video, maybe next Tuesday, let me know what class I should do. If you want me to do another one, maybe we could do muscles, we could do sports classics, I don't know, there's, there's a few more classes to go through but this sports class... This one, honestly, is was to me at least even tougher to pick ten than the super class because there's just some nice looking sports cars in this game. And as always, this is my opinion. So if your opinion or if your list differs, then let me know in the comment section. And yo, like for the people out there that are like, yo, you've done this video before. You know how many time or you know how many DLCs with new cars have come out since I've done those videos. This is an updated video, all right. So so stop hating, man. I, I, why do people just hate? to hate you know what i mean i don't get it anyway the ones we're going to start with are some four-door cars now these aren't in any particular order because i really could not pick one i mean they, they i don't know i like all of the cars on this list but the the two we're going to start with that are four-door cars the first one i'm driving now the buffalo s franklin's car this one has a special place in my heart simply because back on the 360 when you could or when you couldn't get this car in online Unless you glitched it, I actually had one of these because one of my friends did glitch it in and I just love driving this thing around It was really fun to drive. It was pretty fast. The handling was good and it looks amazing I mean, maybe this is just me, but I absolutely love this car the looks of it I mean you can see the sport vibe obviously that's why I put the S on here not the other versions But the bumpers the spoiler on the back. I mean honestly all black probably looks the best in this car, but this is by far one of the best looking four-door cars in the game. And then the other one, I'm sure you probably guessed this if you watched my supercar video, the Sultan. Not the Sultan RS, because the Sultan RS is technically in the super class, but the regular Sultan that is four doors. This one might top the Buffalo S back there by just like a little bit, only because I love this car so much back in GTA 4. I just really like the way this one looks. It's got the classic sports vibe. I mean, yeah, like I said, it's got the nostalgia feel from GTA 4. The customization is fairly decent. I like how you get that Sultan RS logo sort of on the back there. I just, this is just regular, you know, black paint job, but it's got some nice hood options, a spoiler. Everything about this car is just fantastic. And again, going off the same with the Buffalo S, the performance, the handling, the speed and all that is pretty solid for a four door sports vehicle. Now, getting into the two-door sports cars, I guess we'll just go down alpha the alphabetical list. So the first one, the 9F. I don't actually own one of these in online, but you can't deny the beauty of this car. It's based off of what? The Audi or the Audi R8? And that car just looks incredible in real life. And I think Roxxon did a pretty good job with it. You can see just from the side, like the sleekness of it, the curves of it. It definitely stands out. It looks different. I think the reason I don't have it is because, if I remember correctly, there's not much customization on this car. Although, to be fair, the car itself without customization does look pretty good. The one thing I guess I, I do wish was a little bit better was the performance, but that's not really what this video is about. This video is about looks, and you can't deny the looks of this car. Next on this list, we have the Carbonazari. I absolutely love the name of this car, but this car... I believe it's based off of the Ferrari F12. I could be wrong, but because of that, I mean, it's a Ferrari, man. It's just got such a great look, and in, you know, traditional fashion, if you put red on this car, like most Ferraris, it just looks phenomenal. The part I love, though, is the fact that it's a convertible, but you would never know it's a convertible because the entire roof is made out of metal, so that alone makes this car great. And then one little side note, I believe this still works. If you stance this car i think it is then this car becomes like one of the fastest cars in the game it can beat the 811 it could beat the x80 I, I don't know someone brought it to or if you double clutch i think is what it is it's something along those lines in the line where it, it can become super quick but i think this is one of the few sports cars that actually looks like a super car and that's why it is coming in on this list Next on the list is this car, the Comet, or even the Comet Retro. I just have the Comet Retro here because of all the awesome customization you can do on it. Here's something I'm going to say that might shock some people, might upset some people. I'm not a huge fan of the real-life version of this car. 
the Porsche, I believe, 911. It's just, it's it's too odd looking of a car for me. And I know some people love that. And look, if you like it, all you know, more power to you. But I just, I'm not a huge fan of it. But I can't deny the fact that it does look nice. And that's why I am putting it on this list, because this is somewhat of an objective list, I guess. I mean, I know some of it is my opinion, but I do know the Comet is one of the most popular cars in the GTA community. So I did want to put it on this list, because I'm sure if I didn't, I would get yelled at in the comment section, but it's definitely, if I had to number this list, it would be towards the lower end. But again, that's just because I'm not a huge fan of the Porsche 911. I don't know what number we're on, but moving down, we have the Cockette. I love this car. I, I really wish we get a Benny's version of this sometime in 2017. I mean, just look at this. It just looks so nice, apart from don't know what the hell that is I guess that's one of the customization options but this sleekness of it I like Corvettes in real life and they basically copied it in GTA there's not much that differs from the regular Corvettes and it just looks so beautiful man look at it the curves the lines I love the hood I mean everything about this car is hey, fantastic this car. honestly might be top three if I did have to number this list for sports or best looking sports cars next on the list is the LG retro custom I am not a huge fan of the regular LG and I know some people are I just I really don't like it even though I like the cards based off in real life but I, I don't know I just don't like the one in GTA but the LG retro is just so nice it's got the classic sports car vibe which I love I mean yeah it is fun to drive it's got you know awesome customization but the R, I don't think it's the 34. I mean, I know it's similar to it, but the R34, you would be driving on the right side, not the left side like I am. So I think this is the R32, but it's, it's you know, almost the same. And I, I love that car. That's, like, basically what got me started into liking car games back, I believe. I, it was one of the Need for Speed games. I can't remember because it was so long ago. But that is another reason why this has a, or this car has a special place in my heart. And that's... I mean, I think for most people, y you'll put this on your list of best looking sports cars in GTA Online. Next one is the Jester, and I forget what this car is based off of, but the thing I like about this car is the fact that it, it just, it looks so low to the ground. I mean, I don't know, it's probably not by much, you know, compared to other cars, but it's just, it's got a sleeker, more of a, a race car style vibe, and I guess that's why they made the Jester race car version which is the one I actually have in my garage and online and I have it in an all red color because I think it looks really cool with the you know the red and black color scheme the spoiler in the back you know that I just it auto upgrades these cars when I spawn them in so that's why it's got that you know it's not horrible it's not great <laughs> or anything but the cards the front of this car is my favorite like the way the bumper and the headlights and all that stuff are in the hood I just, I love that about this car. And then, honestly, the back's not too bad because it all sort of blends together nicely. But this car, I would definitely have to say, for me at least, it is up there with the Cockette in terms of looks for sports vehicles. And, I mean, also the fact that, yeah, it's great. It's one of the better sports cars in terms of racing and performance and all that. But looks alone, I think it's, it's definitely one of the best. And then we have the Spectre. This one is probably number three on my list. Uh, after the Cockette and, and maybe the Jester there, but this car is so beautiful. It's it's based off of an Aston Martin. I forget which one, but the the curves on this car. And I like how it, it's just sort of simple. There's nothing, you know, there's just this little part on the door, I guess, where the vent's there. But apart from that, there's not really much going on. It's not an overly complex or complicated car. And... I love it because of it. I mean, yeah, the, there's the custom version, which is nice, and all the liveries and customization there, but just, uh, you know, as is, vanilla sort of look to this car. It looks beautiful. And I think that's because, you know, the Aston Martin that is based off of looks beautiful in real life, and Rockstar didn't really do much to change it from that, and I think that's why it does look so good. I would definitely say if I had to pick a top three, this would be in that top three sports car list and then the last one the one that i i feel like it's overlooked a lot the verlier it it's such an odd looking car it's almost it's got the the back similar to like a comet but it's sort of like an elongated version you can see the front is a lot longer than the regular comet and i just i feel like it's it's really underrated in, in terms of that like in terms of its looks 
I don't think the performance is anything too great. One thing I will say, in online, the paint jobs look phenomenal on this car. It's one of the few cars that, I don't know what causes this, but the paint jobs just absolutely pop and stand out so much more in this. You get so many more colors on cars like this with some of the more complex paint jobs, and that looks great. It's based off of a car that I've never actually heard of, the TVR Cigaris. I'm sure if you know, you're a car guy, you might know about it, but I've never actually heard of that car. And I think because of that, that's one of the reasons why I like it so much. It's it's sort of new to me. It's different than all the other cars. It's a new... Because I don't believe this was in previous GTA games. Or if it was, I don't remember it. And because of that, it just, it's unique. It's new. It's different. And you guys know how I am with those, those qualities. So that is going to go ahead and wrap up my list. Now, I will say there's a few runner-ups that... And, you know, going back to what I said at the beginning, it's just so hard to pick 10 from the sports class because there are so many good options. I mean, in addition to the ones I showed off, we have the 770, which is another fantastic looking car. I mean, the way the chrome around the windows and the sort of sides there, it, it looks great. And I'm this would be right after all the ones I talked about. One that I don't like because of the price tag, but in terms of looks, the Lynx. And although it's going to look weird because I have the livery on, but if you have all that stuff off, it's just that it's a nice and simple looking car, and it looks great. I mean, the Karuma is another one. If I had to pick another four-door car, this would be up there. So there's a lot of sports cars that look good, but the ones I showed off, those are, in my opinion, the top 10 best looking ones. Let me know in the comment section what your top 10 best looking sports car list is. And going back to what I said in the supercar video maybe this video might help you out if you're you know maybe getting back into gt online or if you've been looking for some sports cars to buy just based off of looks then maybe this video might give you some ideas and help you out but thank you all for watching that is it with the video see you all in the next one drop a like if you enjoyed please subscribe for more awesome gta content and as always i'll see you guys in the next one